everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic too. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today is the day before a really special day. There is a surprise coming and I hope it gets here tomorrow. I really, really, really do because I want to show it to you and I want to have it and we'll see what happens. My hair is wet because I got out of the shower. I can't brush it until it's dry and I put two different products in my hair. It's not falling out as much, almost not at all. Mm -mm, won't hurt to be playing at all. No, not at all. And um, well, they also taught me how to brush my hair. Who knew? 60 some years of <laughs> brushing my hair and now I know how. But, um, so yeah. What? What was I saying? <laughs> So, as you saw the title, we are going to open the Geek Gear Wizardry Box, which actually came open, and I have to say it, I have to be the truth, or say the truth, and then I opened it and looked in, but I just saw the t-shirt, and I may have seen one or two things, but it's not touched at all. I know he wanted to. Did you look in it? Mm. You look guilty. Make out my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, plus we do have one pop that came today. And I didn't buy this because this man is a um, wrestler, even though I do like wrestling. Um, well, at least I used to really like wrestling. My son was a wrestler um, a lot through high school and and I don't mean like the high school wrestling. They put together this little group and they, <laughs> they had a little place they wrestled and people went and saw them and he fell one time. He, he had a newbie who did not move, who moved the wrong way at the wrong time. And Brandon fell on the back of his neck and didn't know his phone number for a while. So no more wrestling. Of course, then he got the motorcycle. I could go on forever. Anyways, this is John Cena, and I like him because he's an actor. I like the movies he's done. You can hardly see him because, and I don't want to... Invisible. He's invisible. <laughs> Why they made a, a see-through John Cena, I don't know. Is it some kind of social comment? I don't know what it is, but I... Oh, there's the sun, maybe. What happened to the 100% chance of rain tonight, Bill? That's what I want to know. Uh, I think it's over for tonight. Oh, no, it comes in late tonight. It comes in late tonight. You said tonight. Late tonight After when? Midnight. Well, that's not tonight. That's tomorrow morning. Somebody emailed me. Ah. Okay. Okay. So now we've seen John Cena in all his glory. I don't know. Anyways, now it's time. You know, I'm glad they put these in bags. These, these come in bags, and they come from the UK. And this was like this. You know, it's got the little thing, and, but I don't know. It just isn't right. But this is what the inside looks like. You see it, Bill? Yep, there it goes. Into the Florence Triangle, which starts apparently down the street and ends here. It's turning upside down. It's turned upside down, so I don't need, know if I need it or not. Thank you. Packed with love and care by Darren. Well, Darren, aren't you special? <laughs> Darren's my best friend now. <laughs> Anyways, I do have to say something else. This will probably make Bill... How come they're all just faces? Probably not make Bill very comfortable, but that's just too damn bad. Yesterday, we were in the um, walk-in clinic <clears throat> to determine if he had to go to the emergency room or just straight to um, the big city. Emergency. 
Anyway, so his blood pressure was horrendous. Um, I was a, I'm a former EKG tech, and I know blood pressures. I know how to take them. I know how to um, do a lot of stuff, and I know how to check his pulse to see if he's in AFib, which he was last night. No chest pain, no shortness of breath, none of the things that go with um, a heart attack, except he did have a really bad headache. He's had it almost constantly. So until the, I wasn't too worried about it, except I didn't want him to hurt. But um, the headache, along with the AFib, along with the, the high um, elevated blood pressure was bad. So he wouldn't go. He wouldn't go that night. It's the night before last, but in the morning, and we slept in, and because I'd forgotten, because that is my way, and um, so I was like, "Oh my gosh, let's get going." So we went to the uh, we went to the walk-in clinic. We got in. They came to check him uh, to see if he needed to go right in. Did they take your blood pressure outside, or did they just take you in? No, took them into the room. Took yeah, they took us into the room, took the blood pressure. It was horrendous. And um, what I was using was one of those automatic cuff things where you just push it and think, don't, don't get those in the house is on it. Don't get those. Don't use those. They give you false information. They will give you a higher blood pressure than you, than you have. And even though Bill still had high blood pressure, it was not the 200 over 108 that I was getting <clears throat> from that. So we, on our way home last night, we got the, the regular old-fashioned cuff that, you know, people don't use anymore. And people run around with high blood pressure medication when they have really not that high blood pressure. Anyway... So they put him on a diuretic. His legs are swollen. His, his have been for a while. He he's a non-compliant patient, as far as I'm concerned. That's what I would put in his chart if I were charting, doing my stuff and charting. I would just say non-compliant patient, and you would be looked at for the rest of your time in that doctor's office. Like I ain't telling him nothing because he ain't gonna do it anyway. But of course, I didn't tell that. To, he, I, that to the nurse and the doctor and the other nurse and the other nurse because everybody was in there um you know his blood pressure was the thing they were focused on and then they were focused on his his uh legs and um i tend to get very in their face and you didn't do this you didn't do that you're not doing the blood pressure right um and we have another doctor, you know, that whole thing. So since they were all women, every single one of them, I just shut up. I just shut up and watched them work, and they were perfect. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to do that from now on, but I feel like sometimes Bill underplays what's going on, and that's the only time I said anything yesterday, and they were very kind to both of us and just gave him a diuretic to try to get rid of some of the um, fluid in his legs and of course told him he has to sit has to sit with his legs up and here we see his legs are down put your damn legs up there now both of them, can't put them both up yes there. you can you and your short damn little legs move <laughs> back here. Okay, I'm going to move it back here when we're, done, when we're done here and you are. He brought pillows. The doctor said, bring pillows to bed and put your feet up on the pillows. Well, that lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes on his back and it's like, well, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, what? You can go to sleep, but your feet have to be up. Well, no, they, they don't. I'm like, yes, they do. Of course, I wake up in the middle of the night and the pillows are gone. I don't know where they are. I still don't know where they are. I'm sitting on them. What? 
Th these are the pillows you're using? Those aren't high enough. I'll use two of them. I'm gonna get... Okay, so we need to do this because I have some, some words. Oh, one more thing. All this week, all this week, once or twice a day, I've been getting new subscribers. I always look at my new subscribers to see who else they subscribe to and if I want to subscribe back to them. And almost without, um, well, <coughs> most of them either had no, well, not most of them, a lot of them either had no um, subscribers or very few. None of them had anybody I knew, none of them. Um, when I look, only one actually had me on their page, you know, the people they subscribe to. Uh, the others did not. These were also, without exception, people who were of Mexican-American heritage, of um, uh, Asian heritage, uh, Isra Israeli and what have you. I looked at a few videos. There was really, I mean, there's nothing bad there, but I'm thinking that someone who maybe we know, maybe we don't, but I think we maybe do, is building up for a complete attack tomorrow at our thing. So if any of you mods are watching, Please, if you if you can be there, I understand if you can't. I I truly do, um, but I I probably will add a couple more regardless because um, I'm just thinking this is going to be bad. And you know I love my Saturday live streams, and that person is not going to um, hurt them, and I probably need to ban him completely from the site, especially if this does turn out to be him or someone of his elk. That's all I have to say right this second. I have some of this. Warm. It's warm. Hey. Daryl. Darren. Darren gave me two of his business cards. Well, thank you, Darren. Still has that wax thing. So, yeah, I don't know. What the heck? I can't stand that kind of stuff. It makes me allergic. Okay, these, oh, this is so cute. This is adorable. It is the chocolate frogs, the magic frogs. You can eat them before they get away, and they have a wizard card in every single one of them, like Dumbledore. I want Dumbledore. <laughs> and Ron says, and Harry says, my Dumbledore is gone. He says, well, I can't sit around in your card forever. <laughs> that was cute. So, in other words, you don't have any cards. Okay. Um, this says chocolate frog. It says chocolate. Mm. Oh, yeah, you keep, oh, and you can't have it. I can't see anything. There's either light in my eye. Aw. Light in my eye, or I just can't see. Is it real chocolate? Please be real chocolate. Oh, we got two. Or did we get four? We got four little chocolate frogs. Oh, they're trying to get away. Are they to eat? They don't smell like chocolate. 
Maybe they should say if they're chocolate or not. What's the ingredients say? Smells like chocolate. It doesn't smell like chocolate. It smells like nothing. What ingredients? Bad Geek Gear exclusives. <laughs> no, I'm not looking at it. No. Okay, fine. Ingredients. Uh, sugar. <laughs> and the first ingredients is sugar. Who cares what else is in it? Uh, something oil. Palm oil? Sounds gross. Uh, whey. I can't read that. Uh, oh, something from cow's milk. Remember, these are from the UK, so we may not even... Their chocolate is... A lot of their candies are different. I had a friend that I talked to every day, sometimes even live on um, Facebook chat. And... Um, well, I was so excited one time she took me to the kitchen window and I got to look outside and see England. It was so exciting. But, um, yeah, she said the chocolates are different. And, and she came, actually came and spent 10 days with us. She was, I don't think she was happy here. She was a long way from home. Her parents were in Florida at Walt, Walt Disney World, and she just wasn't feeling it. Um, but, you know. That happens. I have another little box called Magic Treats. Are they just going to, like, make us fat? Is that what this is? Oh, here. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. Sugar. 65 65% sugar. Uh, glucose syrup. That cannot be good. Glucose is sugar. So it's 65 or 55? 55% sugar, 39% glucose <laughs> syrup. I'll just say all sugar. Uh -huh. um, flex something, mono something hydrate. Citric acid. You know, it it doesn't sound so good when you start reading the <laughs> reading the ingredients. It's like mm, no, thank you. Really? Do you do? Somebody <laughs> ate it. <laughs> it's not one. in here. Oh my god, somebody ate one of my No, there it is. Licorice drops. Smell it. Eat it. No smell. Lemon. Why couldn't it be butterscotch? I like butterscotch. Okay. Magical potted creature. Oh uh -oh. my god. And the, the mandrake. <laughs> that was so gross. Warning. I need new glasses <laughs> or sunglasses. Warning. Whenever this plants unearth, it screams. Mm -hmm. The screams of this plant, when it is fully grown will kill any person who hears it, but a young plant screams will usually only knock a person out for several, will usually only knock a person out for several hours. It is advised, it is advised when handling this plant that you wear adequate ear protection. 
Well, Bill has no problem because he can't hear anyway. And me? Ah, you idiots! Ah! <laughs> now I'm going to have a heart attack and you're going to be in the ER with me all night. Let me make sure you're awake. <laughs> I'm awake now. You know me. I just try to sleep through everything that happens. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! That's not real. <laughs> you scared me for nothing, you bastard. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, but it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> It's adorable. This is adorable. It has a little face. <laughs> Can you see its face? It's so cute. It has a little booty. A little tail. It's it is my heart's delight. I absolutely love this little guy. He doesn't like you. <laughs> you know you scared me to death. You scared me to death. You know, everybody says how wonderful Bill is. How <laughs> wonderful was that? I could have had a heart attack. She almost jumped out the window. <laughs> That would have been a viral video. <laughs> Old woman in in pajamas jumps out of the window after a mandrake screams at her. Here, let's let's put it where it belongs, because you never know. I mean it's not real, but could come to life any minute. It could be bewitched. What? Can you get this over there? Yes, I do. Well, Are you still chewing on that stupid thing? Swallow it. Oh. Why do you always want to show me what you're eating? He does. What are you eating? <clears throat> he shows it to me. Oh, Wizardry. Well. Is it okay if I finish the box? Because we're into 22.55. It's be an hour. <laughs> it's not going to be an hour. Okay, this says it is a, something is itching me. I think I'm allergic on the back from this hair stuff. I better not be because it cost more than my last 10 haircuts together. What is this? It says, I opened it upside down. It is a tea strainer. But it's a wizardry tea strainer. Yeah. Oh, this is adorable. So it looks like the um, thing that sends you back in time. I can't remember what it's called. So do we have tea? Mm hmm I don't think it really is a tea strainer. I think they just want you to think it is. See? Look at how it turns. The light catches it and does all kinds of weird stuff. You're getting very sleepy. Awaken the mandrake. <laughs> Send me all your Funko Pops. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys. I have to laugh or I'll cry. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm, I'm like, going to go to bed. Like, right after this, I can go to sleep. I like that item. Okay, there's a few more things in here. Geek gear something or other. It, you know that... 
Oh, it's signed. The um, <laughs> the theme of this box must be sweets. <laughs> Because we've got a Geek Gear frog. signed Chocolate Frogs print. I think it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. The last one had a really nice print in it, too. I have that put away so I can... I've been to the thrift store twice this week. Didn't even look. Okay. Okay. So now we'll put this in here. Sure. In out. Okay, these things are just creeping me out. I mean, there's like tons of it. I don't know where to put it. Okay, this is a... Here's a paper. That has to be outside. Okay, so it sounds like the raccoons have come home to roost. Is it them? Yeah, it's in, I think. Well, don't let it in if it wants in. You should have heard it when the first time I heard it. It was coming in that door, no matter what. So I'm, yeah. I'm screaming for Bill, and Bill's like not answering me. I'm I'm ignoring you. You know what? Go over there and see if it if that the wooden thing in there. Acceptance letter gift box. The most beautiful. Bill? No, no, no. I mean where the, oh, where the wood is? Mm -hmm. Nothing? No. It had to be outside. No, maybe it was in the back. Oh, well, as long as it's not running around in here, I don't care. So anyways, it's... <sighs> I miss not burping every time I turn around. Um, the most beautiful acceptance letter gift box ever made. Beautifully handcrafted and unique in every single way. A personalized acceptance letter in a fantastic gift box. You'll receive a beautiful acceptance letter in a fantastic gift box. No, not really. With a matching equipment li list placed in a personalized... And textured the T the T is there and extured is on the next line envelope and sealed with a wax stamp not only this but you will receive two licensed and exclusive Hogwarts Express train tickets and three different suites for magical treats TM buy your buy it today you know it's uh, i'm sure it's wonderful but geek gear oh wizardry limited edition house elves available 3 31 19 at geekgearbox.co.uk limited to 2000 worldwide dispatch date 21st of may That's all exciting. What is this? Um, scratch cards? Oh, I got a scratch and win. Do you have a, like a coin or something? Oh no, there's more tea in here. Henceforth the strainer. Oh, there's more tea. Bill, oh, okay. I thought it was that battery. I was going to say, I'm not going to. It says, Geek Gear Scratch Card. Scratch and win. Email support at Geek Gear to claim your prize. 
feel like I got a lotto card. <laughs> Well, that say anything? Yeah, it says something. Thank you. No win. <laughs> All of that. For that? I want to see what the rest says. No win. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Huh? No win. You try and read it. Here's this, but don't rub it all off because... Okay, so the next thing is tea that is opened. That's what that black stuff was all over me. This is divination tea. Well, it says no win, so yeah. pretty sure that means you didn't win anything. What is it? It's divination tea, and that's what was all over me, and what is still all over me, and now it's all over the floor. Ooh. It was open. Just like that. Just like that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah! That is nasty. Earl Grey. Earl Grey, you suck. Who are you anyway? Are you the Earl of Grey? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. Minty. No, it's not minty. Minty would have been... There's your acceptance letter. Yeah. There's stuff, you know, don't put this crap in here anymore. You know, there's tea everywhere. There's smuts everywhere. Okay. Ah, uh, Gryffindor. Courage, determination, bravery. A lousy tea. Would not eat that tea. No, thank you. Or drink it either. So this is a really nice print. Very, very nice. This box has got to go, Bill. I'm itching like you would not believe. Put it outside. Don't open it. I just closed it. Didn't I tell you it was allergic -ing? I'm allergic -ing. Whatever. Okay. So, oops. We forgot to put this beautiful signed artwork. Is that signed? Wait, I got it. This is not signed. We forgot to put this beautiful signed artwork by Paul Toner. On our leaflet we do apologize I don't think even put it in the box hi Alexandria thank you <laughs> okay so YouTube spotlight Danny jazz very very nice Okay, a massive thank you from all of us at Geek Gear for subscribing to the Geek Gear Wizardry Box. Blah, 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 March 2019. One exclusive magic sweets t-shirt. Uh, exclusive divination tea. Exclusive house tea strainer. Exclusive potted plant figure. I love that. That's like the best thing I think we've ever gotten. Exclusive chocolate frogs, exclusive Professor Sherbet, Professor's Sherbet Lemon, exclusive licensed Hogwarts house print, licensed by Warner Brothers, designed by Pyramid. Um, I don't know, because this isn't signed. I don't think Warner Brothers would be really happy with this regardless. 
Next must hint is this mark. It's forehead. It's his forehead, yep. I don't have one. It didn't give me pricing. I wanted to tell you the pricing of everything because I know how to convert it just like that. <laughs> oh, well. So this box, I pronounce a pretty good box. Um, it came in really crappy condition. I don't think that was their fault at all. I'm sure it got something heavy put on top of it. Yeah, no doubt. The thing that's good is that they put it in a bag. It comes in a very, um, what did it say? I don't know. It comes in a very, um, a, a plastic bag that's very, has a lot of strength. Um, so I am happy about that because otherwise this would all be squished. Oh, the print. They're talking about mm -hmm. this print. That had a signature on it. Yeah, that's signed. The other thing is just to protect the bottom of the box. Not really. It's it's good. Yeah, the the signed print is great and I love I love my Mandrake. I do. I really do. Okay. So that is all we have for you today. Just uh, come prepared tomorrow for some, maybe some excitement, maybe some surprise. And, um, you know, I, I'm hoping one or two people will step up and say, oh, I would like to, even if it's just temporary. Um, I don't know about Donna. She does, you know, I think she does other things, which is fine. Absolutely fine. She, she's, I love Donna. She can do whatever she wants. She's free to come here anytime she wants to do, um, you know, um, moderation or, you know, whatever. I like when she stops in and says hi. I appreciate that. But um, anyways, so yeah. So I, I am worried about these people. Um, some of you may be sending me um, people, and that's why they're such a diverse, diverse group of people, and which I love that. I love to have people from all over the world because it's fascinating. Um, you know, I've only been in three countries in my life, and one of them is this one. <laughs> Been to Canada and Mexico. And um, so far, Canada was pretty nice. But the USA so is the best. We just need to straighten a few things up. Got a little house cleaning to do. Hopefully, it'll get done. And all, we, all will be well. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I am the Funkaholic. And Funkaholic too. And we say. Hasta la vista. Baby.